Hi, welcome to Craft Corner with Miss Hines. So for today's lesson, we are actually going to be making a frog. Now in our science lesson, we looked at the life cycle of a frog and we know that stage five, the froglet loses his tail and he becomes a frog. So he's hopping around all over by the pond. Now for this craft activity, we're gonna need a few things. So listen carefully. You're gonna need some glue, you will need a pencil, you will also need scissors, and you're going to need different types of construction paper or cardstock. So we're gonna need green construction paper or green cardstock, red construction paper or red cardstock, and if you have blue construction paper or blue cardstock as well. So this is what my frog looks like. And as you can see, I did, I painted my hands green and I made hand prints. I let them dry and then I cut them out and I stuck them on at the back so that they become his feet. I use pom poms and googly eyes so that he can see. And I use that red piece of construction paper for his tongue. So see, oh, don't let him get you. But for today's lesson, we're not gonna be using a paper plate, we're gonna be using cardstock. However, if you want to use a paper plate, that's perfectly fine. So, when you get your green cardstock, it should look like this. You're gonna fold it in half. Now, when you fold it in half, you can use a bowl. And what I want you to do, so you see how it has the crease here, you're gonna draw your semicircle so that the crease is on the end of the semicircle. So that when you cut it out, it looks like this. So you see how it can open and close? Make sure you draw it nicely and make sure you cut it out. Remember, we're practicing cutting on those curved lines. We're also gonna need, remember I said red construction paper or red cardstock. You're gonna cut a strip of it out and you can curl it if you want to, to create his tongue. You're also going to need four hands. So Miss Hines didn't do any printing with my hand and paint. I just traced around my hand on some green cardstock and I cut it out. So I cut four of them. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. And those four handprints are gonna become his feet. So are you ready to jump into this craft activity with me? Let's go. Right, so now that we've gotten all of our supplies ready, we've got our four hands that we're gonna be turning into our feet. We've got our frog's face. We've got his tongue. And we've got blue construction paper, which will be the pond water. We're gonna start to assemble our frog. So the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna get a black marker and we're gonna draw on his eyes. So his eyes go on the top. So we're gonna do some circles. Remember, he only has two eyes. All right, my eyes are on. Now what we're gonna do, so remember Miss Hines has already curled her tongue. So what I did is I took a pencil, held the strip of paper, Put the pencil in, my thumb goes underneath, and then I pull so that the construction paper curls so it looks like his tongue is trying to catch some flies from in that pond. Now what we're gonna do is open our glue. We are going to flip the tongue on the other side, and we're gonna apply a nice bit of glue then we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna open his mouth and we're gonna stick his tongue down on the inside of his mouth. That's where his tongue comes from. All right, so this is how it should be looking. The next thing we are going to do is we are gonna start to assemble his feet. So we need two hands for the hind legs or the back legs. 
and then we need two hands for the front legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And remember his back legs or his hind legs are a bit bigger, a bit longer than his front legs. So I'm gonna let them stick out a little bit more than his front legs would. So there's one back leg. Let's do the other one. Make sure you press down because we don't want those legs to fall off. That wouldn't be very nice. All right, so we have back legs. Let's do those front legs. other one. Make sure you press down really hard. All right. We have a little frog, but now he needs a pond to live in. So let's get some blue construction paper we're gonna flip our frog over and we're gonna apply glue I'm gonna do mine in the shape of a rectangle then I'm gonna cross go across do some squiggly lines and then I'm gonna flip it over make sure I'm holding it safely though and I'm gonna stick him down, making sure that I'm pressing super duper hard so that he doesn't come off. And there we have it. Our very own frog in his own pond. I hope you had fun recreating this with me and I'll see you next time for another Craft Corner with Miss Hines. Bye.